Well, hello, my friend. What's the best way to stick with a goal and follow through? How do you set a goal and see it to the finish line? I know there are lots of different ways that you might be thinking that this could work for you. And I know you've tried a ton, but today I wanna to talk about accountability. Accountability is one of the ways that I teach people to go for their goal and get it done, follow through, make it to the finish line as success. It's accountability, but who are you accountable to? I want to talk about that because it becomes a little sticky, a little vulnerable when we talk about accountability in terms of our deepest secrets, if you will, our deepest desires of our heart that we keep secret. We don't want to share it with people. And one of the ways that you reach that final destination in your planning is by sharing it with somebody, by making yourself accountable to somebody else or something else. So you have that feedback, that check-in time. Otherwise, it's too easy to fall off the wagon. It's too easy to back up and say, I can't do this. But so often we just don't wanna share it. And because maybe it's because we feel like we won't be supported. We feel like we may be judged if we tell people what our deepest desires are when it comes to our health and wellness goals. Maybe it feels like, you know what, I've always been this way. I've always been a procrastinator. I've always been a quitter and nothing I do at this point, there's been absolutely nothing that I've tried that's worked. I get it, my friend. Maybe you feel like if you can't succeed, if you know that there's any chance that you might fail, you're not even going to try. Yeah, I know people like this. It's called perfectionism. It's that disease of perfectionism that sometimes we fall into the trap of, we don't want to look stupid. We don't want to go for something that we know might be hard. Well, guess what? When we are in our comfort zone, it is too easy. We're not going to be reaching for those higher level goals if we're always staying in our little box. So I know those gremlin thoughts come into your head and that's where accountability fits in. When we tell somebody our goal, that person can hold us accountable. They can give us check-ins. So that's one piece of the puzzle of how do I follow through how do I actually accomplish this big thing that I have that I want to do, this big health goal? The other piece of this health goal and making it happen for yourself is aiming in the right direction. So we've been talking about this membership the last couple of weeks, right? This Wellness with Gina membership. And last week I told you about the Roadmap to Success Workbook. The Roadmap to Success Workbook is your GPS to make your goals happen. But here's what I often see. When we're going for especially a health goal, we make it vague. I want to be healthier. Well, yes, that's part of the plan. Or I need to fix my hormones. Yes, that's part of the plan. If we are a little bit off our aim, our target, if we're a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, we're not going to reach our main goal. So we have to drill down. We have to get really clear on number one, our values, number two, our vision for getting there. We really have to know what it is that's important to us and how to get there. The roadmap to success is the first piece of that. I talked about that last week. This week, I want to talk about those gremlins in your head that are keeping you from holding yourself accountable, keeping you from telling somebody else, hey, let's be workout buddies. Keep me accountable. Let me find a mentor. Let me find a guide to help me on my road to success. You got the workbook, but guess what? I have a solution for you, my friend. I have a solution. It's called Wellness with Gina membership. What we do in the membership is we have three Zoom calls a month, and one of those Zoom calls is a check-in. That's right. It's your accountability piece where we work with the Roadmap to Success Workbook, and we combine that with the accountability of a Zoom call so that everybody in the membership is on this call together. Sometimes you can't be on the call. That's okay. Those calls are recorded, so you can go back and take a listen. And get the feedback from each other. Find out what's been working, what hasn't been working, where are you seeing 
challenges in your plan because maybe we need to tweak the plan, right? Maybe it was a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, and we need it to be right dead center if we're going to hit it. We also need the motivation to keep going. It gets hard and I get it. Sometimes that's why we quit, right? It's just too difficult to keep going. And we know, I know this to be true, we cannot do it alone. So in community, we are meeting together at least once a month for the accountability piece to check in with each other. So it's all built into the membership because I want you to succeed. I want to give you the best possible chance to succeed. So not only are you getting the workbook for that true aim, but you're also getting the accountability piece with the first Zoom call of the month. All right, my friend, take them together. Take your roadmap to success, take your accountability, and that's a piece of the puzzle that's going to get you to your next level in your health journey. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Check the description below for more information on health and wellness tips, especially my love letter that goes out weekly. Have a great one. Until next time.